Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Wednesday, November 24, 2021. Right off the bat, I want to raise your awareness, people. Um, risk in this market is rising, and it's rising rapidly. What I want you to do, if you have not done this as of yet today, uh, is go look at the MMRI. There is a link in the description of this video. What this is, is a measure of market risk. We are now over 100. We are in moderate risk. Now, look, I'll tell you what my real issue is here with risk in this market. Number one, it's being ignored. It's being largely ignored. Imagine my surprise. Um, we know the environment we are in. It's it's just too twisted. You've got central banks buying it all, the Federal Reserve, uh, you know, really running the entire show. Okay, we got that. But my main issue with risk in this market is the pace of how fast it is rising. Just a few weeks ago, the MMRI was at about 84. We are now over 100. So this is... There's no reason to panic. There's no reason to go out and dump all your stocks or anything yet. But we need to raise our awareness here. Um, there's a lot of issues going on here with the entire yield curve. Um, the fact of the matter is, our economy is cratering. It's cratering, people. And, and you know, I want to run some of this by you. So we got some economic news today. Durable goods orders. I mean, missed the mark by 150%. Durable goods orders are cratering, but personal consumption is higher. Okay, how does that work? People, I explain this to you. Right now in this environment, we are seeing something that we've seen over and over and over throughout history. This is what people do in an environment of surging inflation like we have right now. People want to get out of the dollar. They want to dump their dollars before they lose even more purchasing power. I mean, go into like a Costco or something like that. You're going to see these places pretty much packed wall to wall. People are getting nervous. People are hoarding. This is what they're doing. And they're, they want to get rid of those dollars before they lose more purchasing power. And again... Don't believe what I'm telling you. Look it up for yourself. This is what we see uh, in every economy around the world when they face an inflationary event like we are seeing now. All right. So with that said, we have a couple of things going on. We have rising risk in this market. We have people dumping dollars here. It's not a great setup. Although we understand, and look, I said recently that we should be buying into weakness. Okay, I'm going to stand by that call right now with regard to the market, but we should also be more cautious as well. When we see risk rising like it is now, it, again, it's the pace. It's very rapid. We, we got to start thinking, okay, is something bigger about to happen? Now, I am not. I am not calling for a market crash like a lot of these crazies are out here, okay? The environment is pretty much the same. Risk is rising. Okay, we got that. So let's put that aside for now. We have the Federal Reserve that's continuing to buy historic amounts of assets, and they won't stop. What, do we, what else did we just find out this morning? Initial jobless claims for last week we're 199,000 every week, people. You know, it's 200,000, 250,000, 300,000 net, net every month. We are losing jobs. The economy is losing jobs. And it should be no surprise to you why. Our economy is shrinking, people, at its fastest pace in history. As a percentage of GDP, you all know this. You'll never hear this on the mainstream media. It's just not going to happen. Anyway, let's go back to market risk real quick. we got stock futures, at least as I am doing this, trading doesn't start for about 30 minutes. Stock futures are lower. 
crude oil yesterday what a jump higher uh, after it was announced that our, our illustrious our president here okay I know this word is starting to bother a lot of people and I'm hearing from you so I'm not going to say it but anyway um, the oil that got released from the strategic reserves which is supposed was supposed to bring down energy prices and bring down the price of gasoline actually it you know it was, it was a setup. It was a total scam from the get-go, releasing 50 million barrels in a world that uses 100 million per day. Here in the United States, we use 20 million per day. He knew it. Uh, you know, I don't know what kind of nonsense he's trying to pull off on people, but I don't think they're that stupid. So on that news, crude oil surged higher yesterday. Right now it's under a little pressure. It's going higher, people, much higher, especially as the dollar here continues to dissolve. Now, if you were to look at the Dixie or the, the relative strength of the dollar, you will see that it is higher, and this is no surprise. I explained to you weeks and weeks ago that you would see the relative strength of the dollar remain high. But what does it mean? It just means that the dollar right now is is the prettiest lady at the ball. But we are in a currency free fall, a global currency free fall. Henceforth, why we're seeing a global phenomenon of surging inflation. This is by design, people. Central banks are doing this deliberately. And I've covered this over and over again. It's not going to stop. Oh, we're going to hear from the Federal Reserve today later on. I think it's at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and they're going to, you know, they're going to lie, obviously, about how great everything is and everything is just fantastic and tremendous. But again, it's the propaganda. It's the distractions. It's the look here. It's the don't look here. It's going to keep going, people. Nothing is what it seems to be. I, and the propaganda ministry is going to continue to propagate more lies, more propaganda, and more distractions. You just got to know where to look. And, and that's really where I come in here. So I was writing some stuff down today. I think I covered what I really wanted. Um, initial jobless claims, like I said, people net-net. We're losing jobs every single month, and you're not supposed to know that. Uh, Anyway, look, you and I, we got this covered. And for now, we're still not going to deviate from our plan. And our plan is very simple, okay? We're going to still buy into weakness, okay? But I don't want you to be, you know, throwing every last dime you have into a market where risk is rising. So be selective here. I, I, I still believe you should be buying banks here, okay? Um, banks like Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, those two especially here, because I believe they are well positioned for the future, no matter what comes. They never lose, okay? And each of these institutions pays a nice dividend. So large cap stocks are a good spot to be in here still that pay a dividend. Banks, Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan, buy weakness here if there is any. In a rising rate environment, which you can see what's going on here, uh, and a rising risk environment, I still say the banks are a good spot to be in. Tech, see, look, let, let me out, outline this for you. The tech space is, is something you might want to start scaling back on right now. Um, when you see bond yields rising like they are right now, and the MMI is reflective of that, the MMRI with risk rising here, you want to lighten up here on owning tech stocks. So what you might want to do, again, this is just a suggestion to you, is uh, you know maybe pull profit here uh, in, in some tech and get into financials. I, I still say it's a great place to be. Uh, energy is going to be a great place to be too. Um, you want to look at uh, you know big oil producers as well. Look, crude oil is going up, um, and there's just no doubt in my mind at all um, and although risk is rising, this doesn't mean that we need to run for the hills. We just need to rethink where we're going to put our cash to work. Now, with that said, what else is going on? We witnessed a pretty big hit lately with regard to uh, gold and silver. Okay. Um, 
We know what's going on. JP Morgan got caught yet again rigging the metals market. They're paying another fine of, of $60 million, which means they made a hundred times that, uh, you know, rigging the market. And it's priced in. You all know that. So you got to continue to add to your positions of physical metals here, people, especially silver. Silver, silver, silver. I can't say it more. Cryptocurrencies right now, people are under pressure. A okay, volatile space. I still believe sincerely cryptos are going much higher, especially if when, let's put it this way, when this market corrects to a fair value, you're going to see a wave of cash move from risk on assets to risk off. And in my view, and you can have your own perspective on this, of course, uh, cryptocurrencies are going to play a large role. I believe you're going to see cryptocurrencies take off much higher, uh, as well as physical gold, silver especially. You know, these, these commodities are going to skyrocket too. So risk on is going to turn risk off at one point. Risk on meaning cash making its way into the stock market. Risk off making its way into other assets. It's just the way it works. Markets run in cycles. We've never seen anything like this before. It's a hyper bubble. You all know that. So anyway, look, I outlined a lot of stuff for you in this video blog. I think you have a great perspective, understanding the markets, what we're seeing right now with rising risk. This is what I want you to do. I want you to really start focusing more, okay, on the MMRI as we are now over 100, okay? This is a caution zone. It's a caution zone. It doesn't mean we're going to you know, go crazy here. Again, think about your tech positions. Think about maybe where you want to put cash to work in, in other things here. Um, start really thinking about, if you haven't already, getting yourself into more deeply into risk off assets here because this is going to flip people. And look, I am not in the business of picking tops or bottoms. It's a loser's game. It's a loser's game, okay? We just want to take in the macro picture and think logically. What is the most likely situation to evolve? That's it. That's all we're, we're doing. You understand? All right, look, I could keep going on, but it's getting kind of late. I want to get this video out. Please share it. Uh, let me know what you think about these things too. Keep your eyes on the MMRI and all the other stuff that's available for you on my website. There's all kinds of great things. There are free downloads. There's an amazing chat room there uh, for which I pay to open spots up. I just opened up a few more, well, a, whole, a couple hundred more, just a couple of weeks ago. So go get your spot in that chat room. And there's a lot of like-minded people there. All right, look, I'm out of here. Love you a lot. I will see you at the end of the day.